Hi everyone, it is me, Alicia, at Homemade Crafts for You by A. Um, I have, we just moved into our new house, and I've got just about everything set up, but at the end of the bed on our cedar chest, I have a big pile of stuff um, from like the Dollar Tree and a garage sale and stuff like that, and before I put it all away, I thought that I would go ahead and share some of it with you guys. Um, I'm trying a new camera setup, so hopefully this will work. Sorry, I'm going to move it just a little bit, a little bit closer. Sorry about that. I um, haven't really got my desk that I will start recording my videos at um, set up completely. And like I said, I just had all this stuff collecting that I was going to put up, but I wanted to share it first. So, first of all, I um, I had went to Hobby Lobby, and they had this dyed cheesecloth, 60% off. Let's see where the camera is. I'm sorry. So, I think it's like two yards of each. And so, I got, I got $2 a piece. So, for four bucks, I've got all of this really pretty colored cheesecloth to use. Um, while I was there, I also... Sorry, I don't, I should have practiced first. Well, I was also there. I got these 60% off, these really fun washies, and this awesome tag tool that I've been using. I'm absolutely loving it. It is a whole lot easier than getting out the embossing machine and the die cuts and doing it that way, and I can make a bunch of different sizes with it. And I picked up this there when it was on sale as well, and I am loving this paper pad. And it's on cardstock, so I don't have to coffee dye it, which will be really nice. So that was my haul from Hobby Lobby. And I went to Michael's to pick up some more glue, because I was out of my good fabric glue. And they had this paper pad, 50% off. So I got it for $5, and I thought this would make really pretty... I don't, sorry, I'm trying to watch the phone because I can't see what it's seeing. I'm going to have to set this up a little bit different. But there's the paper pad. I was going to show it to you, but I don't think you guys can really see. But I think this will be fun for Easter and floral journals. And at Walmart, I had picked this up one day. I thought it was really pretty. Just some fun fabric. And from... The dollar store, I got this fun stencil, and, oh, this is not working, I apologize. This, like, bumpy tool stuff, I thought this would be really pretty for layering, and that was from Dollar Tree, and then at Dollar General, they had these 50% off of a dollar, so I got two of these really cute, maybe if I lower it, I'm so sorry, guys, I got this really cute, um, pumpkin doily looking thing and then we went to red racks i think it was it was goodwill or red racks and i found these really cute cookbooks that i thought would be fun to use they have really nice pages in them i just bought this phone stand and i'm not really quite sure how it works yet and then i bought this album that I thought would be fun to turn into like a cookbook journal. My son, he is nine. He is obsessed with cooking. He has known he wants to be a chef since he was like four. And so I thought this would be a really cute one that we could, since it's a binder, we could add different recipes and different things in it. But I really liked the cover. And then last but not least... I went to a garage sale right up the road. Yep, this is not going to work. I am all over the place. Went to a garage sale up the road, and they had these cute little containers for 50 cents, which are always handy. And I got this gorgeous butterfly wallpaper, again, for 50 cents. And these were marked $2 a piece, but she actually gave them both to me for $2. And they are full of beads and goodies. I have to make another one real quick. 
so there is my haul and I am going to try to get this set up better and then I have a fun Halloween journal that's finished that I wanted to share and a couple more all right well if you stuck through all this madness thanks for watching uh talk to you guys later bye